Hello guys, so we are back with another series on PIC microcontrollers. So in the following series, we will learn the coding using micro C and the simulation on the Proteus. And also we will be learning the hardware working. We will begin with PIC16F's 877A microcontroller. So for this you need micro C for the PIC and we will see the working using the simulation the Proteus. So today in this video we will learn very basic programming of LED blinking on port B. Okay so we will use the whole port B. We will create a nice folder view like PIC16F877A and then the micro C coding okay and simulation for Proteus okay. Inside the micro C coding create a new folder LED blinking port B and just we will also write that coding okay just copy the folder and write C relation so that we don't get confused okay now the PIC 16 F877 has 40 pins okay and we just uh, we are going to just program for the LED blinking so we are just concentrated on the port B which has 8 pins so now firstly we will be writing the code on the micro C so go to the projects and you have to just click on new projects now give the project name LED blinking port B okay and just browse to the folder where you have to save the code okay like LED blinking port B we have just created press ok now device name you have to select from the list if uh, if not, none is selected you have to scroll down and go to the pic 16 f 877 a okay after that you have to set the device clock you can set any desired clock like 4 megahertz 8 megahertz 12 megahertz 16 megahertz so i will be taking the 16 megahertz now click next we just don't need to add any files next include all library default finish now you will get void main inside this firstly we have to define the port d as output so that we can glow the led okay for glowing the led we need to define it as output so we will write tris b okay tris b is used for defining the port as input or output okay we have to give the value 0 x 0 0 okay this is the hexadecimal value 0 x 0 0 so now we have configured our port b as output the whole port b that are 8 pins okay now we will be writing y 1 okay so this code will run repeatedly okay and inside this we have to just write port p now we are selecting the whole port p and we are going to give it a value say 0xff that means we are making all the pins of the port b as high now we will add a delay okay in milliseconds of 1000 uh, this is equal to one sec delay and here I will also add the comment port p as output equal the 8 pins okay now making port b high okay now after the leds are cloned now we will make the port b as low okay 0x00 will make the whole port as low making port b low okay now we will again add a delay of 1000 
milliseconds which is equals to one sec delay okay now after you have written this code you just have to click on to the build and click here okay and now it will ask you for the saving of the code you can just see the folder where you are saving the code and click on to the save okay and you will see that in is successfully okay you can just click here also for building the projects or you can go over here okay now after you have finished compiling the code go to the proteus now we will create a new project on the proteus for making our simulation and we will write here lead linking port b okay and we will browse and just save it on to our desired location that was simulation and over here select folder okay now you have to click here new project next create a schematic for the selected template default here you have to click do not create a pcb layout so we are not working on the pcb that's why now we will create a new firmware project here you have to select the pic 16 then in the controller you have to scroll down to pic 16 f 877a and here you have to choose the compiler mpasm proteus okay now click the next and finish okay now go to the schematic capture and just move this vdd over here okay now we will pick some files from the library we have to just click here right click and pick from the library we have to get a led okay and in this you will see various led i prefer this animated led so that we can see the output okay just double click it and it will be added onto the device list now it's better to add a crystal oscillator okay i generally add this crystal oscillator and ceramic oh, capacitor just type the capacitor okay you will get to see the list just scroll down and see wherever you get the 22 pf capacitor okay like this capacitor similar ceramic 22 pf okay and just add it okay and after this you can press ok or cancel now click on the led red whenever you click on this now you will you can just click here and you will see the led and you have to just place it okay now the crystal we will be doing the wiring at once rotate it clockwise so that it's aligned now take the two capacitor we can keep it like this also okay and now the wiring join this and this now you can connect eight leds or a single led to see the output okay now you have to add the ground okay so go to this terminals mode and just click on the ground and you will get the ground okay now connect the ground after you have done this you have to click on the crystal and set this at 16 okay and now after you have done this now you can just click on pic 16 f 877 a double click and you will see the processor clock frequency 1 megahertz make it 16 and now the turn for selecting the file just click on this okay you will see the simulation go back directory and get to the micro c coding and select the hex file okay now okay and just you will see the output and click on the run simulation and you will see that the led is blinking you will see the whole port is one time red and one time blue so this was the basic tutorial for blinking your LED using PIC16F877A. Thank you.